You can go. Hello everyone, this is nice guy. Welcome to the sort of post-game series for Super Mario Advance 3 Yoshi's Island. Now last time we did complete the main story by claiming the land where Bowser's castle once um yeah once stood right there in the middle. Now we do have to that's what they clear sign looks like the icon for when you clear world six. And that's the last instrument to listen to once you completed it. Now if you recall correctly we did unlock extra six and you can see here there's now a secret six. More on that later but first we have to do extra six going in order so let's go do that now. Extra six ultimate castle challenge. Must be a long level. I don't remember this one very well. This is like post game post game stuff, so I am not gonna remember any of this as a kid, but I will probably look at a guide before I go into each of the other levels. Because I'm pretty sure they're tough. Okay, that's simple enough to get. Some more caged ghosts. I'm gonna guess those are red coins regarding. And I'm also gonna guess that those are... Yeah, those were regular yellow coins. Oh, whoops. Little too eager to progress. I didn't read my notes on this level. I don't know what's like the special gimmick of this one. That's way too dangerous to just try to platform. I'm gonna use my eggs. Oh nice. We got it in one go. Oh no. That looks so scary. Oh, there's a couple of shy guys. Wait. No way. No, get back here. I need you. <laughs> you want? I need something to prove to myself how difficult it is. Is it to get those? Okay. Not the most difficult things in the world. Difficult thing in the world, but it's definitely worth playing it safe. I do not want to risk that. Oh, here we have to do the opposite. We have to careful not to <laughs> jump too high. And I thought that was solid ground. There's one to the right. Oh. It's more collectibles. Oh, thank goodness there's a middle ring. I do not want to do that section again. Oh, I embarrassingly died because I was looking at my notes and also I died once again after that. But there's a little piece of trivia about this level in the original SNES version. It is called Castles Dash Masterpiece Set. But it was renamed in the GBA version to be what you um, heard me read out loud. The Ultimate Castle Challenge. No, it's just Ultimate Castle Challenge. Now, the reason why I died is you see on my right that platform like jumps off of the dotted lines and it will kill us. My curious mind is curious, there's nothing there. 
Oh, we have to be careful. We can just... Oh, no, we don't have to be careful. We can just walk right off. <laughs> no way. The version differences anyways. Our jump is so stubby from jumping off of that. It's annoying. Wait, what did that push us? What the heck? Oh, we're gonna need some serious gamer platforming and focus to get past this section. Whoa. No, <laughs> please let me get some eggs. Alright, let's use our gamer brain to figure out how to get past this section. Wait, no. My gamer mind is curious. Want to know if there's anything in there. Yo! Baby stature. Go away. No. Oh, that only stuns it. I thought it would retract it for some reason. Are there any more of those? There has to be. <laughs> oh no. There is. Okay, we get right back to 30 with that. Uh oh. Um. Okay, you go back down. I thought we had to make a respawn. Going up. Oh no. I feel much more comfortable jumping. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not missing any red coins, am I? I guess not. We get to hear the athletic theme once again. Oh, and I forgot we don't have any more of the star items, so I actually have to be careful and keep 30 on Mario's counter. <laughs> yeah, this game is starting to give me trust issues. We're going down from space. This ultimate challenge doesn't feel ultimate quite yet. Whoa, 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 whoa. I'm only jumping when the coins tells me to. Yeah, that didn't feel ultimate at all. And thankfully we kept the counter going. We kept the counter at 30. Wow, so much for the extra s stage of the final level. Okay, now, now I can talk about the secret stages introduced exclusively to the GBA version. There is one in each world and they are unlocked after defeating Baby Bowser, so there is no point special to make to meet just beat the main story i'm gonna have the extra world six and the secret of world one combined together other than that each secret stage is going to be its own episode let's start with the first one i believe the first and second one are pretty easy exercise in the skies okay and we're trying the stage because i died trying to get the second flower you'll see in a bit why it's a bit tricky 
to get to like getting the flower itself it's actually pretty simple but getting to the area very annoying but before we do that we have to get the first one we have to follow these arrows all the way to the top oh we need two eggs so let's collect these There. Now that's not the challenge so far. My issue was right in this section. You have to jump, get these two red coins, and then there's the bottomless pit where this ends, right underneath here. If you need to try again, you have to go on this platform and do the same thing. There we go. Getting to this section is a little tricky for me now. You do not want to step on those stone platforms, stay on the red ones. Because you'll need those stone platforms to get back. Oh no, I touched one. Alright, we didn't need it. If you bring down the wrong one, <laughs> the wrong one, or maybe it's just two in a row, you won't be able to get back. Very scary. Wow, we lost so many eggs, and we're going to need a little bit of momentum from the pinwheel to get up this tiny, tiny slope. You'll see in a bit. And don't worry about the wing cloud, it's just a one-up. Oh, I screwed up, so we have to go back a little bit. Go, go, go! Okay, good. You don't jump for no reason. I forgot. I forget when you jump. Go, go, go. I think those are just there to be annoying. Like to make you think you can go on there, but you actually can't. Oh, like the extra stages, we can return to the map whenever we want. We don't need to have completed the stage. We need to enter this room so we can do a bit of platforming. Gonna be this pinwheel. It's gonna be a little nerve-wracking because we have to stay in the center or we'll fall off. But we need to collect some red coins here. Actually... This looks a lot less scary than it is. Or this is a lot less scary than it looks. It's actually pretty generous. Oh, these two wing clouds. And I totally forgot to... Um, I forgot to get some stars, some star item from the mini games. Oh well, I'll do it after this episode.
There we go. And I was a bit worried about not having 30 stars, but... Thankfully there was one right here, the wind cloud with some. Now after this last platform section is going to be a little fast paced, but all we have to do now is duck and get ready to move. Because you need to get that red coin quickly before you get squished. Now be careful in this part, if you do screw up once you'll have to do this section again. Okay, we are almost home free. I believe this is the last section. There, I believe we got everything. Yes. Hooray. But, like I said, the first two are gonna be easy. I will get a little time for getting a thousand points in a world. That is the maximum you can get in a world. And we get a bonus, flip cards. <laughs> All right, it wasn't meant to be. Let's go, we got a perfect. I totally forgot about that chime as a kid, this little splash screen and chime. But we do get that for 100%ing the world. That's gonna be it for me for today. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be tackling the secret of World 2. So see you next time.